ಗುರುರೇವ ಗತಿ ಗುರುಮೇವ ಭಜೆ ಗುರು ನೈವ ಸಹಾಸ್ಮಿ ನಮೋ ಗುರವೇ ನ ಗುರೋ ಪರಮಂ ಶಿಶುರಸ್ಮಿ ಗುರೋ ಮತಿರಸ್ತಿ ಗುರೌ ಮಮ ಪಾಹಿ ಗುರೋ ಶುಕ್ಲಾಂಬರಧರಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶಶಿವರ್ಣನ್ ಚತುರ್ಭುಜ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವದನನ್ ಧ್ಯಾತ್ ಸರ್ವ ವಿಘ್ನೋಪಶಾಂತ ವಾಗೀಶಾಧ್ಯಾಸುಮನಸಃ ಸರ್ವಾಥಕ್ರಮೆ ಎನ್ನ ಕೃತಕೃತ್ಯ ಸ್ವಿಹೋ ತನ್ನಮಿ ಗಜಾನನ ದೋರ್ಭಿರ್ಯುಕ್ತ ಚತುರ್ಭಿ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕಮಣಿಮಯೀ ಮಕ್ಷಮಾಲಾನ್ ದಾನ ಹಸ್ತೇನೈಕೇನ ಪದ್ಮಂಸಿತ ಶುಕಂ ಪುಸ್ತಕಂ ಚಾಪರೇಣ ಭಾಸಾ ಕುಂದೇಂದು ಶಂಖ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕಮಣಿ ನಿಭಾ ಭಾ ಸಮಾನ ಸಮಾನ ಸಾಮೇವಾಕೇವತೆ ಎಂ ನಿವಸತು ವದನೆ ಸುಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಕೂಜಂತ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ಮಧುರಂ ಮಧುರಾಕ್ಷರ ಆರುಹ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾ ಶಾಖಾಂ ವಂದೇ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಕೋಕಿಲ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕೇರ್ ಮುನಿಸಿಂಹಸ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾವನಚಾರಿಣ ಶೃಣ್ವನ್ ರಾಮಕಥಾನಾದ ಕೋನಯಾತಿ ಪರಾಂಗತಿ ಯಿವನ್ ಸತತ ರಾಮಚರಿತಾಮೃತ ಸಾಗರ ಅತೃಪ್ತಸ್ಥ ಮುನಿ ವಂದೇ ಪ್ರಾಚೇತ ಸಮಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಗೋಷ್ಪದೀ ಕೃತವಾರಾಶಿ ಮಶಕೀ ಕೃತ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಂ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಮಹಾಮಾಲಾ ರಕ್ತ ವಂದೇ ರಿಧಾತ್ಮಜ ಅಂಜನಾನಂದನ ವೀರಂ ಜಾನಕೀ ಶೋಕನಾಶನ ಕಪೀಶಮಕ್ಷಹಂತಾರ ವಂದೇ ಲಂಕಾ ಭಯಂಕರ ಉಲ್ಲಂಘ್ಯ ಸಿಂಧೋ ಸಲಿಲಂ ಸಲೀಲಂ ಯಶೋಕವನ್ಹಿಂ ಜನಕಾತ್ಮಜಾಯಾ ಆದಾಯ ತೇನೈವ ದಾಹ ಲಂಕಾಂ ನಮಿ ತಂ ಪ್ರಾಂಜಲಿರಾಂಜನೇಯ ಆಂಜನೇಯಮತಿ ಪಾಟಲಾನನ ಕಾಂಚನಾದ್ರಿ ಕಮನೀಯ ವಿಗ್ರಹಂ ಪಾರಿಜಾತ ತರುಮೂಲವಾಸಿನ ಭಾವಯಾವಿ ಪವಮಾನನಂದರ ಯತ್ರ ಯತ್ರ ರಘುನಾಥ ಕೀರ್ತನ ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ಗಮಸ್ತಕಾಂಜಲಿ ಬಾಷ್ಪವಾರಿ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣಲೋಚನ ಮಾರುತಿ ನಮತ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಾಂತಕ ಮನೋಜವ ಮಾರುತ ತುಲ್ಯ ವೇಗಂ ಜಿತೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಬುದ್ಧಿಮತಾಂ ವರಿಷ್ಠಂ ವಾತಾತ್ಮಜ ವಾನರ ಯೂಥ ಮುಖ್ಯಂ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮದೂತ ಶಿರಸಾ ನಮಿ ಯಕರ್ಣಾಂಜಲಿ ಸಂಪುಟೈರಹರ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಪಿಬತ್ಯಾದರಾತ್ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕೈರ್ ವದನಾರವಿಂದ ಗಲಿತ ರಾಮಾಯಣಾಖ್ಯಂ ಮಧು ಜನ್ಮ ವ್ಯಾಧಿಜರ ವಿಪತ್ತಿ ಮರಣೈರತ್ಯಂತ ಸೋಪದ್ರವಂ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸ ವಿಹಾಯ ಗಚ್ಚತಿ ಪುಮಾನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪದಂ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ತದುಪಗತ ಸಮಾಸ ಸಂಧಿಯೋಗಂ ಸಮಮಧುರೋಪನತಾರ್ಥವಾಕ್ಯಬದ್ಧ ರಘುವರ ಚರಿತ ಮುನಿ ಪ್ರಣೀತ ದಶಶಿರಸಶ್ಚವಧನ್ನಿ ಶಾಮಯದ್ವ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಗಿರಿ ಸಂಭೂತ ರಾಮಸಾಗರಗಾಮಿನಿ ಪುನಾತು ಭುವನ ಪುಣ್ಯ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಮಹಾನದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕಸಾರ ಸಮಾಕೀರ್ಣ ಸರ್ಗಕಲ್ಲೋಲ ಸಂಕುಲಂ ಕಾಂಡಗ್ರಾಹ ಮಹಾಮೀನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಮಾಯಣಾಂಡವಂ ವೇದ ವೇದ್ಯ ಪರೇ ಪುಂಸಿ ಜಾತೆ ದಶರಥಾತ್ಮಜೆ ವೇದ ಪ್ರಾಚೇತ ಸಾದಾಸೀ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾದ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣಾತ್ಮನ ವೈದೇಹಿ ಸೈತಂ ಸುರದ್ರಮತಲೆ ಹೈಮೇ ಮಹಾಮಂಟಪೆ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಪುಷ್ಪಕಮಾಸನೆ ಮಣಿಮಯೇ ವೀರಾಸನೆ ಸುಸ್ಥಿತ ಅಗ್ರೇ ವಾಚಯತಿ ಪ್ರಭಂಜನ ಸುಚೇ ಪ್ರಭಂಜನ ಸುತೆ ತತ್ವ ಮುನಿಭ್ಯ ಪರಂ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾಂತ ಭರತಿಭಿ ಪರಿವೃತ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೆ ಶ್ಯಾಮಲ ವಾಮೇ ಭೂಮಿ ಸುತ ಪುರಶ್ಚ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ ಸುಮಿತ್ರಾಸ್ತ ಶತ್ರುಘ್ನೋ ಭರತ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವದಲಯೋ ವಾಯುವಾದಿ ಕೋಣೇಶು ನಮೋಸ್ತು ರಾಮಾಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣಾಯ ದೇವೇ ಚತಸ್ಸೇ ಜನಕಾತ್ಮಜಾಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ರುದ್ರೇಂದ್ರ ಯಮಾನಿಲೇಭ್ಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಚಂದ್ರಾರ್ಕಮರುದ್ಗಲೇಭ್ಯ ಧರ್ಮಾತ್ಮ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಂದಶ್ಚ ರಾಮೋ ದಾಶರಥಿರ್ಯದಿ ಪೌರುಷೇ ಚ ಪ್ರತಿದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಶರೈನಂಜ ಹಿರಾವಣಿ ಸಕೃದೇವ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನಾಯ ತವಾಸ್ಮೀತಿ ಚಯಾಚತೆ ಅಭಯಂ ಸರ್ವೂತೇಭ್ಯ ದಾಮ್ಯ ತದ್ವೃತ ಮಮ ಮಾನಿಷಾದ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾನ್ ತಮಗಮ ಶಾಶ್ವತಿ ಸಮಾಹ ಯತ್ಕ್ರೌಂಚ ಮಿಥುನಾದೇಕಂ ಅವಧೀ ಕಾಮಮೋಹಿತ ಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ಬಲಂ ಯಶೋದೈರ್ಯ ನಿರ್ಭಯತ್ವ ಮನೋಗತ ಅಜಾಡ್ಯಂ ವಾಕ್ ಪಡುತ್ವಂ ಚ ಹನುಮತ್ ಸ್ಮರಣಾ ಭವೇತ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರೆಯೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರೆಯೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರೆಯೇ ನಮಃ ಜಾನಕೀಕಾಂತ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ತಪಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ನಿರತ ತಪಸ್ವೀ ವಾಗ್ವಿದಾಂವರಂ ನಾರದಂ ಪರಿಪ್ರಚ್ಛ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿರ್ ಮುನಿ ಪುಂಗವಂ ಶ್ರೀಯಪತೆ ಪರಮಾನುಗ್ರಹೇಣ ಸಂಕ್ಷೇಪ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಭಾವಾರ್ಥ ಶ್ರವಣ ಯಜ್ಞ ಸರ್ವೇಷಾಂ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಶ್ರವಣ ಯಜ್ಞ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಕ್ಷೇಪ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ವರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ವರ್ಸ್ ಭಾವಾರ್ಥ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ಲಿ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮಕೃಪ ಭಗವಾನ್ ರಾಮ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನಸ್
in this sarga valmiki asks question and put forth is there a contemporary person who is having these such qualities guru narada answers this in a different way after having answered about rama's qualities he wanted to give the ramatva rama ramanubhava that he has experienced to valmiki and he wanted to ensure that valmiki is fully engrossed in ramatva after which he is inspired to take up the task of composing the valmiki ramayana 24000 shlokas so with this objective narada starts telling the story of ramayana which he has experienced from his father brahma through the shatakoti pravistram through koti shlokas now we entered the aranya kanda yesterday and spoke about how sita was captured by ravana kidnapped by ravana jatayu moksha we saw rama lamenting for sita shoka santapta he he became a shoka santapta he was engrossed in shoka and then he meets shabari tapasi shabari on the advice of kabandha this is where we were yesterday we understood that shabari is an embodiment of guru bhakti and she is a benchmark for guru bhakti for her rama darshana is one aspect she was she all, when rama came she said that adhyame safalam janma all those things she said but her entire kritagyata is towards her guru because her guru matanga muni only told her that you please stay do rama darshana rama is going to come to your hermitage you don't go in search of him he is going to come to you you have his darshana and then you can have your moksha after this shabari moksha happens so this is the greatness of shabari we saw how shabari was a different person and guru was an embodiment of guru bhakti we were in the i think we were in the 58th shloka if i am right i'll just go to that shloka <clears throat> Yesterday we finished 57, I think. Pampati re hanumata sangato vanarena ha hanumad vachanachai va sugrivena samagata ha. We also touched upon the subject that after crossing the Pampa river, Rama and Lakshmana meet Hanuman. The Prathama Samagama between Rama and Hanuman happens here. This is where we stopped yesterday. We continue from there. So here, from here starts Kishkinda Kanda. Kishkinda is the name of a place. Um, on the banks of the river Pampa, Pampa Tire Hanumata Sankato Vanarenaha Hanumat Vachana Chaiva Sugrivena Samagataha. So, what is happening here is an interesting uh, thing. on the banks of the river pampa pampa tire on the banks of the river Han, pampa rama met hanuman rama ramasya sangataha hanumata abhut rama met hanuman on the banks of the river pampa sug <coughs> hanumad vachana chaiva sugrivena samagataha because of the words of hanuman he met rama met sugriva this is what is the surface meaning of this 58 first line and the second line of 59 uh, start first line of 59 shloka <clears throat> how was this prathama samagama between rama and hanuman how did hanuman meet rama 
this is beautifully being told here. How was this Prathama Samagama between Rama and Hanuman? That is what is being told here. Incidentally, Rama and Lakshmana come near Kishkinda after they cross the Pampa river. There near the Rishyamukha Parvata, they meet um, when they are coming they are searching on, on top of the tree. They are searching for Sita. Here and there they are searching for Sita. Sugriva, who is Sugriva, who is uh, the Varara in Kishkinda, he is the brother of Wali. Wali is the king of Kishkinda currently. Sugriva sees these two people and gets a doubt. So he sends Hanuman. Please find out whether they are being sent by Wali. So what is the... Uh, there is an enmity between Wali and Sugriva because of which Wali is very, very powerful Vanara. So Wali has kidnapped Sugriva's wife. All these things we will come to know later. Now... Sugriva is sending Hanuman to meet Rama and Lakshmana. The Prathama Samagama is uh, between a Bhakta and a Bhagavan. He is happening. At that time, Hanuman, as soon as he sees Rama and Lakshmana, his experience is totally different. He, he clearly understands that this is not an ordinary person. He, is, he looks like a uh, Chakravarti and he is a embodiment of dharma he has he is with a purpose he has come with a purpose to the forest along with his one more probably his brother brother lakshmana all these things hanuman thinks and he starts asking rama and lakshmana now these are some things which which will come later in in the ramayana i am just telling it for the story completion now as soon as Hanuman speaks, Rama is thrilled. Such as what a speech he is giving, what is his communication skill? The, his communication skill is par excellence. As though he has studied all the three Vedas, he has studied the Vyakarana. He does not have any mistake in his words. He does the intonations correctly. His pauses are good. His uh, pronunciation is good. Uh, his uh, uh, his uh, uh, bhava, his expressions are good. He captures everybody. So Hanuman's, Hanuman's words were so powerful. So Rama is thrilled and he becomes, uh, he understands that this Hanuman is not an ordinary person. He is a divine person. Probably he understood because he is related to Surya. Because Surya's disciple is Hanuman. Rama is from Surya Vamsha. <laughs> so that connection is immediately that connection immediately happens between Bhakta and Bhagavan. And Rama is thrilled and he tells Lakshmana, please find out who is he. Then Sugriva Nama Dharmatma Kastidvana Rapungavaha Hanuman introduces himself uh, that I am the I am the minister of Sugriva. He Sugriva is a Dharmatma. See, this is the word. Sugrivo Rama Dharmatma Kachidvana Rapungavaha. He uses the word Dharmatma. So from this words of Hanuman, Sugrivo Nama Dharmatma, this, this is enough for Rama. Sugriva is a dharmic person. And who is telling this? The great communicator Hanuman is telling this. So Hanuman has the moment Han, Rama sees Hanuman, he knows that this, uh, this Hanuman is well qualified, a Vidwan. And he is not an ordinary person. All these things he understands just by the sight of that person because <clears throat> Rama has met so many people and he understands people very much. 
now hanuma dvachanat chaiva because of the words of the words of hanuman rama agrees to meet sugriva and he also did the sakya now this is see rama did rama did not aspire that he should go and meet sugriva uh, he should go and uh, have sakya with sugriva all these things rama did not aspire it was hanuman who worked for all this now hanuman is in sugriva's camp so if hanuman is in sugriva's camp hanuman is always with the dharmatma and sugriva is also dharmatma as told by hanuman so the rama did not even think for a minute because sugriva is a stranger how do i believe him so he did not even think for a minute and he agrees to meet sugriva this is what is the shloka and the shloka and the insight together we saw sugriva 59th shloka first line sugriva yata tat sarvam samsadramo mahabalah aditas tad yathavrtam sitaya ascha visheshatah mahabalah ramah this rama is a mahabala mahabalah ramah mahaparakramah ramah what did he do sugriva yata tat sarvam samsat samsat he told everything about his story to sugriva why did he tell the trust factor was given by hanuman that sugriva nama dharma pa sugriva is a dharmic person i am there with him from for so many days i am observing him this trust factor was given by hanuman based on this trust factor rama tells everything to sugriva aditas tad yathavrtam from the beginning whatever happened from the beginning from his birth till he lost sita he tells everything aditas tad yathavrtam sita yascha visheshatah he told the entire story especially that especially about sita if you see we were there in the forest uh, ravana in the uh, probably in the ravana has kidnapped sita as told by jatayu so <coughs> we are searching for sita <coughs> this entire story has been told by rama to sugriva aditas tad yathavatam aditah from the beginning tat yathavrtam the story sita yascha visheshatah especially about sita also uh, he tells now all this is happening because of hanuman what that see <clears throat> what is what does hanuman want hanuman wants sugriva to have the friendship of rama hanuman knows rama's mahatva very well now based on this he wants sugriva to have the friendship of rama he is making this friendship between rama and sugriva happen <clears throat> sugri next shloka sugriva chapi tat sarvam shrutva ramasya vanavah chakara sakhyam ramena pritas chaivagni sakshikam the story goes like this sugriva hears the entire story shrutva ramasya vanavah he hears the entire story and they agree to become friends chakara sakhyam ravena pritas chaivagni sakshikam hanuman enables this friendship he wants to celebrate this friendship so he in front of agni agni sakshikam having agni as a witness he uses some twigs and creates an agni there and in the presence of agni rama and sugriva they <coughs> they they tell they say that we are we both are friends from now so we will leave for the sake of each other i will help him he, let sugriva help me all these things happens so sugriva chapi tat sarvam tat sarvam having heard this fully stutva ramasya vanarah hearing this from from the varara hearing this from rama chakara sakhyam ramena he 
he made he created or he he made friendship with rama pritas chaivagni sakshikam pritaha now this is the word for which we have to have some insight why was sugriva happy pritaha happily he why was he happy he has lost his kingdom and wife rama has lost pita why should they both be happy pritaha sugriva was happy so sugriva after he knows after he hears the entire story sugriva is happy that i am getting such a chakravarti uh, <coughs> as my friend it is very it is it is my fortune that i am getting rama as my friend and he is <coughs> and rama rama has got he is a mahabala he is a mahabahu he is a mahabala he has killed 14000 rakshasas he has killed so many things he may be able to help sugriva because sugriva has not at told his story so rama is going to ask now what is your story so sugriva thinks that okay maybe because of hanuman so first i was very very sad hanuman came into my camp after hanuman came into my camp now rama and lakshmana have came into my camp have come into my camp camp which means there is something good that is happening maybe i can get back the uh, kingdom which i lost i can get back my wife which i have lost all these things he is thinking which is why he is slightly happy <coughs> and this friendship is ha happening with agni as a witness which means it is like a celebration so there may be happiness there and he another thing is sugriva also thinks in this way see i have also lost my wife rama also has lost his wife rama also is out of the kingdom i have also come out of the kingdom so probably both are in, we both are in the same boat we have to help each other this also makes him pritaha in the sense we can help each other that is the happiness that sugriva is having chakara sakhyam ramena pritaschaivagni sakshikam now what is rama's side rama is saushilya atishaya satishayavan he his shila his character is so great he accepted guha as a friend that means guha is his one of his friends he went to shabari and spoke to him correctly now comes sugriva he is treating sugriva also in a different way all this is happening because of one person at the back which is anjaneya it is the power of anjaneya it is the thinking planning of anjaneya which is making this happen so agni sakshikam <clears throat> there is a put not in one of, in our book aditya chandra vanilona lascha gyaur bhumi rapo hriyam yamascha ahascha ratrischa ubecha sandhye dharmopi janati narasya vrtam any pledge done with agni as a witness is considered to be very sacred that is why marriages are done with agni as agni sakshi when a husband marries a wife in sanatana dharma it is done in the friend friend in the presence of agni agni sakshi whatever you do it is considered to be most sacred so the friendship of rama and sugriva is an important step and it is considered to be celebration and it is most sacred <clears throat> next shloka tato vanara rajena vairanu kathanam prati ramaya veditam sarvam pranaya dukkitena cha now is the turn for sugriva to ask rama uh, sorry now is a turn for rama to ask sugriva what is your story then rama asks what is the cause of enmity between you and your brother see you see the contrast here is rama who is having three brothers who are willing to do any tyaga they are saying we don't want the kingdom you please rule you please rule each one is telling we don't want the kingdom that is the side of rama 
the side of sugriva is wali ha when wali was not there sugriva becomes the king of kishkinda after wali comes back do uh, sugriva wanted to give it back to him <clears throat> wali uh, banishes him from the kingdom he becomes the king and he kidnaps uh, sugriva's wife now this is uh, the story here then the contrast so sugriva is very sad after hearing rama's story he says oh rama not everybody in this world are like people in ayodhya and like your family i am coming from a different family we are having enmity between brothers now rama is stuck wonder stuck so you brothers are fighting he is wonder stuck he wants to hear the reason for their fight so why ranu kathanam prati how come brothers can have enemy enemy enmity between them they should have affection between them so rama wanted to know what is the reason and sugriva is trying to tell so sugriva tells entire story aveditam ramaya aveditam he told the entire story about his enemy with uh, wali and pranayat dukhitena cha pranayat he is enemy with wali he also says he i love wali but wali does not love me with a sad heart he says this entire thing in the sense wali and sugriva were together before this enemy enmity happened that was why pranayat pranayat sarvam nivedithavan the other thing is sir, we can take it in this way pranayat is with respect to rama he had now sugriva is slowly ch- changing after the sakya of rama sugriva is has now developed affection and respect towards rama like here is a family of rama who who is whose brothers are united and they are they are able to sacrifice for sake of each other this kind of a family we should have that is what sugriva is thinking that is why with great affection towards rama and with sadness also he told the entire story this is another interpretation pranayat dukhitena cha now sugriva is slowly developing prema prema or uh, the goodness with uh, with with rama so he told the entire story when he told the entire story and the reason of the enmity between himself and wali now what is happening प्रतिज्ञातंचरामेण तदा वाली वधं प्रति वालिनश्च बलं तत्र कथयामा सवानरः प्रतिज्ञातंचरामेण रामा इमीडिएटली सेस ओके तथा वाली वधं प्रति इफ यू वांट वाली टू बी किल्ड आई विल डेफिनेटली डू द नीडफुल प्रतिज्ञातंचरामेण आई विल किल वाली वालिनश्च बलं तत्र kathayama savan rahad this is the second line so he assured sugriva that i can uh, kill wali and get back your wife back to you this is what rama says rama in his back backwards he is thinking why kill wali and what is that all those things he is trying to think so now now sugriva is worried without me telling about wali fully the power of wali our rama who is my friend he has promised or he has taken a pratigya that he will kill wali what is this he is now of? he becomes now excited he becomes uh, he is having aparami she is now done agni sakshika friendship he is worried now he is worried that rama has taken a wrong pratigya and he is really worried this is the insight so what the sugriva do he starts telling about wali the power of wali wali nascha balam tatra kathayama savanarah thereafter sugriva starts telling telling rama about strength of the wali kathayama sa told he told the strength of wali wali nascha balam tatra katham kathayama savanarah he says this wali 
He can fight anybody on this earth. Touch is the power of folly. So what was the reason? Did he want to create fear in Rama's mind? No. Now, see, Sugriva has taken friendship in, in the presence of Agni Sakshika. That means a friend in need, in need is a friend in need. A friend cannot put another friend in danger just because of his selfish need. When the Agni Sakshika friendship has been done, Sugriva cannot put Rama in danger. Sugriva feels that, Sugriva doesn't know about Rama's power. So he feels that Rama has taken this Pratigya and he doesn't know about Wali's powers. Why did he do this Pratigya? He, he, he said, what he could have said was, let me try. If, he, if I am successful like that, he should have told. He has taken the Pratigya. If you want him to be uh, dead, I will definitely kill. Tata Wali Vadam Prati has taken the Pratigya. Without thinking about Wali strength, without knowing about Wali strength. So this is the this is what is eating the brain of Wali, uh, Sugriva, eating the brain of Sugriva. That is why he he wanted to uh, he says Rama, you don't know about Wali. He is such a powerful man. Nobody can stand in front of him. <clears throat> so. Um, we have to, you should, you should know how, how strong Wali is. So he, he projected himself as though he is doubtful about Rama's strength and he asked him once again and again. Sugriva Shankita Chasit Nityam Virgena Raghave Raghava Pratyarthantu Dundube Kayamuttanam so what was the thought behind Sugriva? He he was he is he slowly becomes uh, a different person. He was having extreme love towards Rama, Aparimita Prema. So usually uh, a friend has to give shoulder shoulder to cry. So he told the story that so Rama should have cried. Okay, this this has happened to you also. He did not think that he will take pratigya. Now. Well, the question that may arise in all our minds is, Rama has taken one more Pratigya before. What was the Pratigya before? I will, the Pratigya before that Rama took was, in the Pratigya one was, Pratigya <laughs> And he went to Jarasthara and killed the Rakshas. Now oh, people can say, Rama is a capable person. Whatever Pratigya he takes, he will fulfill it. When he can kill 14,000 Rakshasas, why can't he kill one Wali? Why did Sugriva get this doubt? Sugriva's thinking here is, see, Sugriva, it is it is like this. Sugriva's thinking here is, their Rishis had a problem. The Rishis were all powerful people. They used to do a lot of penance. They prayed for Rama, that Rama should be successful. The Rishis and Devatas wanted Rama to kill all the Rakshasas. Now, they prayed for him and Rama was very successful. The success behind Rama killing 14,000 Rakshasas in Janasthana was the power of the penance of these Rishis. Now, here there is no Rishi praying for Ra Rama that Rama should be able to successfully kill Wali. Wali is so powerful. He can, he can destroy any big army, anything he can do. So, this is what is the thinking that is going behind uh, Sugriva's mind. That is why he projects himself that Sugriva Sankita Chati is apprehensive that Rama can uh, uh, kill Wali and he starts telling one by one. So, see what has happened in Sugriva is his love for Rama has increased because of after hearing Rama's story. Therefore, his appreciation of Rama has increased. He does not want Rama to lose his life just because they were they have become friends and suddenly he loses his life in with with a in, in between a fight between Wali or in Rama or whatever happens. Wali, if Wali kills Rama, the entire thing will change. Now Sugriva, what did you? He he says, see, Dundubhi, 
This dundu bhi is there, no? This dundu bhe hai. This dundu bhi is a rakshasa who came in the form of a buffalo. He is a huge rakshasa. And he came to, he came near Wali and troubled Wali. Wali killed him. And he put, he killed him and here lies the skeleton of dundu bhi. Okay. Now he, he take, he asks Rama, please come here. I will take you to this and he takes him near that Dundu Behe Kaya Muttamam. Kaya is skeleton. Kaya is actually body. But Kaya Muttam, see after so many, so many years, the body will not be there. All the flesh has gone. And there is a massive, a mountain-like skeleton, which is three times the height of Rama and it is very, very massive. In the Vyakhyana, they give that it is three times the height of Rama. Now, Dundubhe Kaya Muttamam Darshayama Sasugrivaha Mahaparvata Sannibam Similar to a mountain. It is so big. Sugriva was apprehensive about the strength of Rama in order to get an idea of the strength of Rama and in order to tell how Vali is so powerful in order to see whether Rama can fulfill the promise that he has taken before itself. So he shows the Dundubhe, Dundubhe skeleton. The skeleton, Kayam skeleton, Uttamam, massive, Darshayama showed, Sugri Mahaparvata Sannibham, similar to a mountain. Now, after having uh, uh, seen the uh, skeleton, Utsvaitva Mahabahu, Lakshmana is there by the side of Rama. Lakshmana sees Rama, Rama sees Lakshmana. Rama gives us smile. Utsvaitva, he just smiles. Preksha Chasti Mahabalaha. Mahabahu, Utsvaitva Mahabahu. He is having great arms. So what was the challenge given posed by Sugriva? This is the skeleton. If you can move the skeleton and keep it on the other side. If you can move the skeleton and keep it the other side, I can understand that you are powerful. Because Wali killed, uh, Wali is a person who killed the, who killed Dundubi. <coughs> Uh, and Dundubi was killed and he was thrown by Wali. So if you can also throw this or move this skeleton a little bit, though it does not have the muzzle, uh, etc. Still, if you can move this massive skeleton, I will feel, con I may feel convinced, we all will be convinced. That was the idea with which Sugriva gave the challenge. Now, what was Sugriva doing now? Sugriva is seeing Mahabahu, this fellow, is having Mahabahu, but we, we saw that Guda Jatruhu, he is not having the Mahabahu like the heroes in Bollywood or Hollywood movies. All the bones and other things, six-pack body and all. He is having, he is a very, <clears throat> he looks like he is an ordinary, handsome prince, Mahabahu. So he is seeing the arm of Rama. Rama is going to now move his arms and he is going to go near that skeleton. You please let us all visualize this. Rama is going to moon, go to go near that skeleton. And he is going to lift that skeleton. And when he is lifting, he may have some problem. He may say, Lakshmana, please help me. And he is going to probably move that skeleton and show his power. This is what is the expectation of Sugriva in his mind. Now what happens? Sir? <laughs> to What happens? Sir? Suddenly he is seeing that the skeleton is flying. Utsmaitva Uts Mahabahu Preksha Chasti Mahabalaha. That skeleton is flying. He, he sees Padangushthena Chikshepa. Rama with his toe, with his toe, he just kicks. He literally threw, he just kicks that skeleton. Thampurnam Dasayojanam. And it flew. And it, it went into, it went. Dasayojanam means almost. 10 Yojanas is 10 into 8 miles, 80 miles. It went away, it went very far away, which cannot be seen. Dasha Yojana, probably Dasha Yojana. This is the visualization of this incident. See, Sugriva is astonished. I am here seeing the uh, hand of Maha Rama, hoping that he would lift and he will do some 
like a weightlifter in Olympics, he will lift the this one and he'll say, ah, oh, ooh, he will do all those things. Uh, this is what Sugriva is thinking, but Rada just Padangustera Chikshepa, he just kicked it. And he proved that he can, he passed in the first test, which was given by Sugriva. So, Sugriva is Nikeshankita. Now, now what happens? Bibeda Chapunasalan, Tatai Kena Maheshuna, Girim Rasatalam Chaiva, Janayan Pratayan Pratayam Tada. Now our uh, Sugriva, now he realizes that okay, Rama has strength in the leg. So, because Padangutta, he did not use his Bahu only. Now, now Sugriva is thinking like this. What will be the thoughts in Sugriva's mind? See, I, to, I gave this challenge to lift and keep it at the side. This fellow kicked it and he proved that he is powerful. Okay. But he is not going to fight Wali with his toe or with his leg. Wali is not going coming, going to come and fight with Rama where they are going to uh, have, a, have the fight with the leg. That is not going to be the situation. So this challenge is not enough. So he says, what is your Bahubala? That means you have a Dhanus. Your identity is Dhanu. Dhanu means bow. What is that you can do with your bow? That is the challenge again, which is put. <clears throat> because till now Rama, uh, Sugriva saw Rama seeing the ornaments of Sita and crying and all those things. Rama expressing his story and all. He did not see the powerful Rama with mighty armed Rama. So the next challenge is, uh, so Rama, what he does is he goes near seven uh, palm trees or Saptasalan, seven sa sala trees they say. Some people say it is teakwood tree, some people say it is sala, but we will take it as sala tree. Seven trees were aligned in a straight line. So Rama used his bow and uh, just... Uh, Gave, gave the Ramabana an instruction. So Ramabana straight went and put down all the seven trees, went inside the uh, Patala, that is Bhumi, and came back and that Bana came back to his Akshaya quiver, his inexhaustible quiver, and it sat. Bibeda Chapunasalan, Bibeda pierced Punasalan, again to assure Sugriva about his strength. Seven, seven trees. Where he, where put down by a single arrow, Girim Rasatalan Chaiva, Girim Rasatalan Chaiva, the arrow pierced the sala trees, went near the mountain, and it went Rasatalam, the nether worlds, and Rasatala, Patala, Rasatala, and, and it came back, and that arrow went and sat into the quiver of Rama. This generated some. Uh, assurance in Sugriva's mind. Thus assuring Sugriva that he can kill. <coughs> Sugriva is astonished at this work of uh, Rama, and he is also convinced that Rama is a person who can take care of Wali. What is the con actually what he thinks is now actually he is not convinced that Rama can kill Wali. He is convinced that if uh, suppose Wali attacks Rama, Rama can protect himself. This is the con thing he is thinking in his mind. He may not be convinced that Wali uh, Rama can kill Wali, but he was convinced that Rama at least can protect himself. Rama's prana will not go away. Maybe he can, he is a Mahabahu, so he can protect himself. He can run away or he can protect himself if something extreme happens. So at least I will not be the karana for Rama to be killed by Wali. Rama cannot be killed by Wali. That much is what is the assurance that Sugriva probably gets. Tataf Pritamana Stena Vishwas. Tasya Maha Kapihi Kishkindam Rama Sahitaha Jagama Chaguhantada 
Now, having had this courage, now let us see what happens. So he wanted. So uh, our friend Sugriva enters Kishkinda. How he enters Sukriva? Till now he was not daring to enter Kishkinda because Wali had banished him from Kishkinda. No, and every place that Wali go, Sugriva goes, Wali chases him. And uh, there was one Parvata where uh, Matanga Muni had given uh, a shapa because of which he is staying in that Parvata. If Wali comes to that Parvata, Wali will lose his life. That is why Wali does not come to that place. So in that place, our friend Sugriva is uh, uh, staying. So Tatapriya Manastena. Now he being happy, Vishwastasya Mahakapi, being reassured of Rama's strength, Mahakapi. Sugriva, the great monkey, Kishkinda Rama Saitaha, he entered Kishkinda. When you have Rama with you, you can go anywhere. That is what is the message. When Sugriva can enter Kishkinda, we should all have Rama in our minds. We can go anywhere. In our life, we can climb any, any, anything. We can climb to any power. We can have anything in our life if we have Rama with us. That is the message. Uh, if we have Rama in our hearts. So, Kishkindam Rama Saitaha Jagamacha Guham Tada. He came near the cave, uh, went to Kishkinda, which is like a cave, and along with Rama, he came there. Then what did he do? Tato Garjat Agarjat Dharivaraha Sugrivo Hema Pingalaha Tena Nadena Mahata Nirjagama Harishwaraha. What did our friend Sugriva do? He was, till now, the way he was talking to Wali was fully, he was afraid. Always he was totally afraid. Now, with with, uh, with Rama's presence, he has become, he, he is roaring like a lion. Tato Garjad Harivaraha, because of his roar and his Rama's presence, he is shining like Hema Pingalaha. He is having an yellow. Previously, his yellowness in the monkey was, yellowish brown was very pale. Now it is golden yellow. Narada is telling it is golden yellow. He has become golden yellow colored. Uh, his face, face is shining because of the presence of Rama by his side. <clears throat> and he is roaring. On hearing this, Tena Nade Namahata, Hirjaga Mahari Suraha. With this sound that is being heard. Wali is unable to sit in his uh, uh, inside his palace. So he Mahata Nadena Nirjagaba, he came out of his palace. He didn't want to send somebody because this roar is totally different. Sugriva's roar is now totally different. He he comes and he sees what is this? Sugriva is today roaring like this. He Nirjagaba Harishwaraha, he himself comes out and sees. <coughs> And sees this Sugriva roaring. When he is coming, Anumanyata, what happened in between? Anumanyata dataram Sugrivena samagataha Nijaganacha tatrainam Sharaine ke navana raghavaha. Now the details here are being skipped by Narada. We know that first the Vali comes once, they have both fight, and Rama says, I could not differentiate between Sugriva and Vali. Therefore, he goes back and again he roars and again he comes. Anumanya Tadataram Sugri Veda Samagataha Anumanya Anumanya after having assured Tara. What did Tara tell and what did he assure? Tara is telling, see, this fellow has come with a different roar. And he I, I have heard that he is having Rama by his side. Rama, who is a Sarva uh, Ashraya Data. He is a great person. He is an Ashraya Data. So when Rama is there, Rama is an embodiment of Dharma. This Tara knows he doesn't. She doesn't tell it to Vali, but she says, "See, Sugriva has taken shelter under Rama. Why don't you also go and take shelter <coughs> and ask uh, Rama whatever it is? Maybe that is the message she wanted to give. But she tells that this is a different roar. This is Sugriva is coming for the second time. What is this? All these things she tells. Vali tells only one word. See. Whatever be it, if Rama is great, let it be great. I don't have any enemyship with Rama. Rama does not have any enemyship with me. Therefore, I am not worried about Rama. 
I am worried about Sugriva. I want to kill this Sugriva who is roaring and who is making, who is troubling me. So I am confident and I am going to go and fight the battle. If Sugriva is calling me for a battle now, I am going to fight or a small battle. I am going to fight. Let me see if I can kill him today. This is what is the talk between Tara and Wali. But the commentators, they, they talk differently. They say, see, Anumanya Tata Taram. Tara allows him to go. Why did she, how could she allow him to go? When she knows Rama's uh, thing and all, see, we can ask so many questions. Wali, Tara knows that Wali is also having a bad guna and he has captured Sugriva's wife and it is it cannot be correct. So, and she has tried her best to convince Wali. But he, Wali has not heard her at all. So, she knows that probably the end for Wali is from Rama. And because of Rama Mahima, he can probably attain Moksha or Sarga. And he can be a, he can attain Rama Sagara, Rama Pada, Rama Charana, Rama uh, Sayuja can happen for Wali with with all these things in with all this dilemma in her mind. She allows to grieve uh, Rali to go for the battle. Now Wali is straightforward. He goes and he fights. Anubhadya Tadatara Sugri Veda Sabagataha. He comes. He he comes and fights. Beats him in the battlefield, fights Dijagahara Chatatrainam and Rama with a single arrow, Sarainai Kena Ragava puts him down. Killed means he does not kill him. He puts him down. That arrow, see Rama Bana, we have always discussed about Rama Bana. Rama Bana will do the correct thing. It will do what Rama is touch. So as per Sugriva's wish, Sugriva wanted Wali to be down, to be killed. So Raghava or Rama, but Ra Rama knows that Wali, Wali, res, uh, Wali, Wahi and Wali does not have any enmity. It is the personal enmity between Sugriva and Wali. Now he wants to tell Wali and tell Wali what is the Adharma Karya that he has done and why he has use the bana which has put him down. All this conversation has to happen and Wali uh, should hear about all this and then only he should die. This is the, this is what is the intention of Rama. Therefore, the Rama bana does not kill him. It just pierces and sits there and Wali falls down and Nijaghanacha Tatrainam Sharaine Kena Nagavaha he falls down. Tata Sugriva Vachana Hatwa Valila Mahave Sugriva Meva Tadra J. Agava Pratyapadayat. After this Sugriva Vachana, because of Sugriva's words, Rama does this like this. So the Val, the arrow one, so in the, in the story which is going to come in Ramayana, I just will cover that so that you will understand. <coughs> So the Wali, after he falls down, he asks a lot of questions to Rama. He says, you are Dharma. Everybody says you are Rama Vigraha and Dharma. <clears throat> but you have killed me from behind. You, <clears throat> I did not know that you were there. And you put the arrow and you put down, you brought me down. How is this Nyaya, etc. So Rama in one Sarga, he explains the entire logic. He explains 16 reasons. 16 to 15 reasons why he put on Rama, uh, put on Wali. One of the prime reasons that he says is, see, you are a monkey and I have put you down because you have done Adharma. The Adharma that you have done is, you have taken your brother's wife and kept her as a prisoner in your kingdom, which is extremely wrong. Whether you are a human being or a vanara or whatever it is, you cannot do this. The second reason is we are kings. We can, we can, uh, we are kshatriyas. Anybody who does mistake, we can kill anybody in whatever way we want to kill them. 
if it is a punishment, if it is for adharma. Suppose if we don't kill them, we will be questioned by, by our, uh, when we go to Swarga, we will be questioned, why did you not punish him when you had to punish him? Because we will be loser, not doing our sadharma. Our kshatriyas have to punish the people who do adharma. So I am Bharata's representative in the forest. I am a uh, Chakravarti, uh, Bharata is uh, the Chakravarti of Ayodhya and this all this entire uh, Bharata Varsha is coming under Bharata's Rajya and therefore I have put you down. Like this he gives many reasons. At the end, uh, Wali accepts his mistake. See, amongst so many people who died with in, in presence of Rama, Wali is the only person who after hearing this entire thing, he says, Aparadhan Mama Kshamasva Prabho. This is the statement that Wali says. Now you see, what is this Swajanasya Cha Rakshita, Rakshita Swasya Dharmasya. This was the situation Rama was in. Rama, <coughs> Rama had, did not have any enmity any with Wali. Wali did not have any enmity with Rama. But Rama did not have any, any enmity with Wali. Wali did not have enmity with Rama. But still, Sugriva Vachanat, because Sugriva is a Dharmatma and Wali is an adharmic person, Rama Atva, he brought Wali down. But he ensured that, he explains to Wali why he killed him. And it is there in that Wali Vadha Auchityam. Please, if you all have Valmiki Ramana, please read that entire Sarga. You will understand. Rama himself gives explanation as to why he did that. Now, after that, Vali accepts his mistake and he says that I am I withdraw my case. I withdraw my case against you that you did you did an adharma by killing me from behind. I withdraw that case and he accepts Rama's, he accepts his mistake because of which what was, what happened? Vali got moksha. So the Vali's Atma entered Rama. The Jyoti from Vali entered Rama and Vali got moksha. This is what is, so Rama wanted to give moksha to Vali and that was his intention which is why the Bana of Rama did not kill Wali in the first instance. See, Rakshita Sasya Dharmasya. So by doing this, Rama uh, protected his dharma. Rama protected Sugriva's intention. He protected his dharma. He ensured that Wali himself is convinced that, uh, 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 that he, ha he has to be killed. And Tara is there. Tara's Santana also happens. All these things happen and he ensures and he ensures that Angada will be the Yuvaraja and he will be protected. And he tells Sugriva that Angada should be the Yuvaraja after for some time because Angada is small, now you become the Raja. After that, you have to hand over the kingdom to Angada and Wali's son Angada only should become the king. This is how he he established this Sugriva Meva Tadra Jay Ragava Pratyapadayat after installing Sugriva. Uh, as the king through uh, Abhisheka was done by Lakshmana and others, other uh, reason, he ensures that Wali's Vamsha, that is Angada, son of Wali, becomes the next king. This he ensures that uh, all this thing happens, and this is how Rama has tackled this entire situation of Wali Sugriva and himself. So by now, Wali has realized, Tara has realized who Rama is, all these things have happened. So if you see, the what is Sugriva now? Sugriva has become a friend of Rama. He is just understanding Rama. He has love towards Rama. He appreciates Rama. Because of Rama's help, he got the kingdom. Now he is very happy. He got back his wife also is very happy. He is now enjoying. Wali... Though he was away from, he did not have the friendship of Rama. He got Rama Sayuja faster than Sugriva. This is the main insight. Because he accepted his mistake and he was totally transformed by 
Rama. So there are people who get totally transformed. So Vibhishana wanted uh, Ravana also to get totally transformed. Somehow that didn't happen. With respect to Kumbhakarna, Vibhishana wanted him to be killed. So there are so many things like this in Yuddha Kanda also, which we'll see later. So what we are trying to understand here is the Ramatva, the Rama's character of being an impartial person, how he treats everybody around him is something that Narada is explaining and Valmiki is understanding more and more about Rama and people around him. Tata sacha sarvan samaniya vanaran vanaran shabaha disha pratha payama sa didrik surjana kaatmajan. Now comes the duty of Sugriva to help Rama. So the Sugriva is planning for uh, how to help Rama, the rainy season, etc. passes. Before that only, Hanuman is the person who is planning how to help Rama. So he is the minister of Sugriva. He goes behind Sugriva and says, please see, you cannot think that with only Kishkinda's army, if you, if you think that you can reach Lanka and search for Sita, please don't think like that. You better call all the Vanadas on this earth. See if you can call them. So that is why now Sugriva, based on the advice of Hanuman, he calls the entire Vanara army from all directions. Such as Arvan, Samaniya, he calls all the best of the monkeys from all directions. Samaniya having brought together, brought them together and he sends, sends them to search for Jan Janaki's daughters, Sita in all directions. This is the decision he takes. Now, people may ask, there was one question in the other day also, which is what I wanted to answer today. Uh, if uh, Jatayu has told Rama that Ravana has kidnapped Sita, why did Sugriva send all the, all, the, all the monkeys in all four directions to search Sita? This is the question. Probably Jatayu did not tell Ravan that Ravana kidnapped Sita. That, is what, that was the intent of the person who wrote that question. But here we, we see the... If you read the Ramayana Kishkinda Kanda in detail, you will understand. Sugriva's planning was, see, Avana has kidnapped Sita. But he can keep Sita anywhere on this earth. He can keep her in, uh, in Swarga. He can keep her because he is the lord of the three worlds. Avana has control over Devatas also. He can keep her wherever he wants to keep her. So there, was two, there were two options in front of Sugriva. One option is to send the Vanaras only to the southern direction and search in that direction where Ravana went or the other option was to search wherever. So he didn't want to leave any stone unturned. So he takes a decision that um, he has to send everybody in all directions. If they are not there, they are going to come back and say they are not there. The per wherever they find Sita, that direction people will come and find Sita. This was the reason. This is how Valmiki Ramayana goes. So Disha Prastha Payamasa, you know that from Sankhya Paramahinsa, Disha Prastha Payamasa, Dishaha, Dishau, Dishaha, Bahuvachana is there. So he sent them in all directions. Prastha Payamasa, Vidrikshuhu, in order to send, in order to search for Sita, he sent all the monkeys in all directions. This was the power of Sugriva. Tato Gridrasya Vachanat, Tampa Ter Hanuman Bali. Now there were a set of people who had gone the southern direction under the leadership of Angada, where Hanuman was there. Now, what happened here is, Tato Gridrasya Vachanat, here also a vulture, Jatayu, Jatayu's brother, Sampati, Sampater Hanuman Bali, Sampati, who is the brother of Jatayu, he hears the story of Jatayu, which was being discussed by the Vanaras when they wanted to commit suicide. He, now that uh, we have had all these experiences, we did not find the Sita, let us commit suicide. That is what they think. And in that situation, Sampati hears the name of Jatayu and he does the Vatsaya. He says, see, I am seeing Sampati Hanuman Bali Gridrasya Vachanate. What is the Vachana that the Sampati tells? He says, Shatayojanat Pare Lankayam Sita Vartate. Tara Samudram Tam Pashyasi. You cross the ocean, you will see Sita. She is there 100 Yojanas from here. Cross after this ocean. That is what is the Vachana of Sampati. Now Sampati is a brother of Jatayu. Now Sampati also is the trouble. Her, her Sampati's 
Sampati, the vultures, the uh, um, uh, feather or the wings have been cut. That is why it is stationary. Now with this Vak Sahaya, what happens? Because uh, Sampati does Rama Sahaya, the, the, fed, the, the wings of Sampati, they come back and happily Sampati is now able to fly. So this is the power of <coughs> Rama Sahaya. The Jatayu had in his mind when Rama did samskara to him, I am here. Now our my brother Sampati is not having wings and he is somewhere. I have got Rama Anugraha. Should Sampati not get Rama Anugraha? This was the thought with which Jatayu must have passed away. Because of which uh, uh, Rama's Bhakta Hanuman, uh, Hanuman got to know from Sampati and uh, Sampati got a chance to help Hanuman and all the Vanaras there. And Hanuman is a Rama Bhakta. So indirectly helping Hanuman is helping Rama. So Hanuman Sanugraha, through Hanuman Sanugraha, Sampati also gets something good for himself. Va through his Vachika Kainkarya, Vachika kan he got relief from his uh, no feather state to a feather state. And now with this, what, what did Anjaneya get? What did Hanuman get? And all these Vanras get? We have a direction to go now. We have to cross this ocean and search for Sita after we cross the ocean. This is the uh, direction that they got. Now, Satayojana Vistiranam Puplave Lavananam. What did Hanuman do? Now starts the Sundara Kanda, which is the most powerful Kanda in the entire Ra uh, Ramayana. In Sundara Kanda, the objective of Narada is to uh, project Hanuman as a character. What is Hanuman's character? How is he? And how is this Hanuman? Because he is a Ramadasa, how is he different from all other Bhaktas of Rama? And how is he totally devoted to Rama? This is the, uh, this is the picture that Narada wants to give to Valmiki. Shatayojana Vistirnam Tupluve Lavanarnavam this Shatayodana Vistirnam. So our Hanuman, he jumped and crossed the ocean. That is what is there. Whatever happened in between, he wants Valmiki to visualize later. That is why he doesn't tell any details what happened in when he was crossing the ocean. <clears throat> the main important thing, thing here is in the next sloka. Tatralankam samasadhyaya purim ravana palitam dadarsha sitam dhyayanti ashokavani kangatam Tatra Lankam Samasadhya, after entering Lanka, Samasadhya having reached Lanka, Purim Ravana Palitam, this Lanka city which was ruled by Ravana, he saw Sita meditating on Rama, Ashokavani Kangatan in Ashokavana. She was in Ashokavana and he was meditating. We all know the story in Ramayana which is going to come later. We know that uh, uh, the uh, Hanuman also touched uh, Sita everywhere. He didn't get Sita. He was uh, very uh, troubled. Now, now you see what is the role of Sita in Sundara Kanda? What is the role of Hanuman in Sundara Kanda? How they are helping each other? This is the insight that we have to see. Dadarsha Sitaam Dhyayanti. The code word is Dadarsha Sitaam. Code phrase is Dadarsha Sitaam Dhyayantin Dhyayantin Sita, what is she doing? She is doing Rama Nama Japa Dhyayantin. She is thinking of whom? Rama 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 Her power of Rama Nama Japa Her power of Rama Nama Japa brings Hanuman to Ashokavana and makes him see her. It is not by Hanuman's, Hanuman's power, by Hanuman's ability. Hanuman himself says that I cannot, I could not, I have searched the entire Lanka, Chaturangula, Matropi, Navakasha, Savidyate, not even leaving uh, one, one inch of space, I have searched the entire Lanka, but still I am unable to find Sita. That is when in that state, what is that which brings Hanuman to Sita near Ashokavana? How come that Ashokavana, uh, which was not seen before, now is seen? How come that he could reach Sita and find her? Asho Tadarsha Sitaam Dhyayantin because it is Sita's tapas and Sita is constantly telling Rama 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 Nama this Hanuman could reach Sita and see her in Ashokavana. This is the 
ಪ್ರವರ್ತಿಂಚಣ So, Narada has got too many things to cover. He does not want to work on the details. He says he wants to focus on Hanuman and give all the details about Hanuman. So, what did Hanuman do? Niveda Yitva. He first established trust, trust with Sita and conveyed having submitted himself as to who he is and the story and other things and convinced her Pravrittin, the efforts of Rama and uh in uh, making sugriva sakya and all those things he told about what all rama is doing what all rama is undergoing he told about that abhignanancha after giving literally he later he gives he did not give the uh, ramanguliyaka before itself so he gives a ramanguliyaka to ramanguliyaka means the ring where rama nama is embedded on that ring and that ring was given by um uh, in when the marriage of rama and sita by yagyavalkya and rishi that is what uh, the pauranika say and that ring he gives it to whom he gives it to hanuman when they go in the southern direction now hanuman is giving that ring and showing that as a uh, reminder for sita to remind herself of rama and to get to do the uh, tapas so Uh, she is doing tapas and he gives her rama nama anguliyaka so he gives her that device niveda yitva after having told the entire story and gaining trust he gives the anguliyaka pravartincha nivedya cha what is pravarti the efforts of rama etc he told samashwasya cha vaidehi what was the role of hanuman here hanuman's role was sita is in extreme sorrow she he has to console her and tell her that give her the dhairya that we are all going to come and release uh, come to release you rama is going to come he is alive he is going to come and he is going to uh, save you from this rakshasa so now who is consoling whom what is happening sita is helping hanuman through her japa, japa and tapas hanuman is consoling sita and telling <coughs> uh see i am mama sangama kala matram so i am only it is only time i have if i go i will go very fast to meet rama only that time i am going to take after that i am going to convey to rama rama is going to come very fast to protect you so in in the one hour or one and a half hour conversation that he had with sita he consoles her totally and this was his role that he played and after that hanuman takes a different role this is what narada is trying to tell mardaya amasa toranam now after consoling sita he decides to take a different role he expands so hanu narada wants to focus focus or expand on hanuman's activity hanuman is not an ordinary person he is not he is a rado he is a ramaduta he has done all the work that rama has told but he is a different uh, he is at a different level if you give him chance he is going to bring sita back he wanted so in fact andreya tells sita that please come with me i will take you back but sita refuses to come with him so hanuman is selfless he is doing all for the sake of rama he is proactive he is thinking ahead he is a good leader so if rama asked him what did you see in sundra in lanka okay you saw uh, sita and you consoled her after that what did you do uh, did you do you know the strength of ravana what is the strength of ravana's army how should we attack uh, uh, lanka all these things do you know if rama asks, what should, what is the answer that he is going to give he wants to <clears throat> see and uh, what he can do so he wants to do many things he wants to put the bhaya the bija of bhaya uh, uh, in the uh, in the asura's army in the rakshasa's army also that there is a rama and i am only a servant of rama in the last servant of rama who has come here 
if all the other people they come they are going to approve this entire lanka that kind of fear he wanted to generate that is why what did he do mardaya masa toranam first he start start on the arch of the uh, ashokavana uh, and started destroying that arch and from there he started and he what did he do panchasena agragan hatva sapta mantri sutanapi sura makshancha nishpishya grahanam samupagamat he killed the uh, five commander in chiefs of ravana and sapta mantri sutanapi he killed the seven mantri sutas the sons of ministers then the great akshakumara who was the son of ravana <coughs> vande lanka bhayankaram after akshakumara's death only the entire uh lanka people they they added the word called fear in their dictionary they had one oxford edition dictionary with them in that dictionary the word fear was not there now after hanuman killed akshakumara they added this word fear so this is how the fear was instilled in the minds of the rakshasas tura makshancha nishpishya nishpishya means um crushed making him into a paste as though breaking a coconut he just rounded him and the, uh, he broke him like a coconut that's what in the ramayana they say nishpishya he made he crushed him nishpishya grahanam samupagavat after that he allowed himself to be captured because he wanted to meet ravana and uh, talk him about talk to him about some words about rama he allowed himself to be captured so the now narada is not telling indrajit captured him there was a brahmastra all those things ravana is not telling uh, narada is not telling so he is focusing on what all the achievements made by hanuman astreno and muktamatmanam that means there was an astra which was released by somebody and that astra made hanuman as though he he gets himself captured nyatva paitamaha durat but he, he got himself released because of the vara from boon which he had got from brahma that he, no astra can uh, bind him including the brahmastra brahmastra also if it binds him it binds him for only few uh, uh, few, few moment few moments and few minutes so all these things happen and he gets released from uh, the astra also but he goes and mantrayan marshayan rakshasan viraha yantrinastan yadrichaya so he willingly tolerated he willingly marshayan he tolerated all the rakshasas who took him who captured him and they were taking ah i have captured anuman i have captured anuman let, let let us all take him to ravana tan yadrichaya ta kim kritavan ravanasya samipam gatavan he went to meet ravana tato dadva purim lanka the next uh, set of stories is ra he meets ravana there is a conversation which happens hanuman tries to convince him all these things is not told here tato dadva purim lanka directly narada says tato dadva purim lanka he burns the city of lanka rite sita am chamaitri but he does not burn sita and ashokavana ramaya priyama khyatum punarayan mahakapi hi so hanuman was extremely careful when he burnt lanka so without ex without sita he burns the entire lanka that is what is told in the shloka tato dagdwa purim lankam rite sita am chamaitri except sita he he burnt the lanka priyam akshatum he want he also goes back to sita and in, and confirms that he, sita is not burnt and extinct and other things uh <clears throat> so he comes to priyam akshatum in order to tell the happy news that sita is safe and alive and in lanka and in a particular place all in ashokavana all these things he is he wanted to quickly tell to uh, rama punarayan mahakapi he this great hanuman he started to come back he started he started to return so bigamya mahatmanam kritwa ramam pradakshinam nyavedaya dameya atma so after having approached uh, rama what did hanuman do <coughs> ramam pradakshinam kritva he he became he became his bhakti towards rama increased his bhakti towards sita doubled his increased 
because when he saw sita he was thinking why did this rama why is this rama still how is how come this rama is still alive having such a pious pativrata stri as sita rama must have lamented about sita in front of lakshmana now looks like rama is not crying enough so he understands what kind of a person is rama sa samadhiman yadyapi shoka santapta samadhiman he understands what kind of a uh, nature of rama he understands the nature of rama he does pradakshina to him and after telling the entire story and giving the chudamani which sita gave to him all that he does and now he becomes a rama duta and a sita duta shri rama dutam shirasa namami in one of the dhyana shlokas rama who went uh, hanuman who went as a rama duta while going he went while going to lanka he went as a rama duta while returning he became shri rama duta shri represents mahalakshmi which is sita so he is also a duta of shri of sita now because sita told him you please go and tell rama what is the difficulty that i am facing here so uh, sita's message also was conveyed to rama so he becomes sita duta and he looks at that direction and does namaskara to sita so he he has fully understood now sita and rama what is what kind of an incomparable nyavedaya dame atma he is an incomparable rama incomparable sita <clears throat> and what is the word he uses drishta sita eti tatvatah drishta sita he did not tell sita drishta this is the key point sita drishta suppose he is coming he is flying and coming he is telling sita sita the varra will say what did, what happened to sita did sita is, is sita alive or she is dead so you put in a moment for a moment you put the other person in in a dilemma in a state of confusion or brahma now he wants to say drishta sita sita was seen by me the first thing is drishta in sanskrit language this drishta is a kridanta kridanta means the moment you say drishta you know the linga of that word drishta is three linga and it is a verb it is an action word was seen so hanuman says drishta sita now with this the vanras know that hanuman has achieved drishta sita drishta sita now they also say say drishta sita drishta sita drishta sita drishta sita they they keep on doing this bhajan when they are going near rama so asvabi so hanuman wanted to give the credit of drishta sita to the entire team so he said drishta sita this is another reason for telling drishta sita one is to remove the apprehension what happened to sita therefore you you put the word action word before the noun drishta sita the second one was to ensure that the team the entire team which went in the southern direction they can also tell asmabi he is drishta sita they can also tell drishta sita drishta sita without any change they can keep on telling that is the power of sanskrit there um drishta sita and he he tells this and he becomes a rama duta and a sita duta and uh, what is the message that is being given see he he now goes to sita who is in different uh, direction and rama here after this what does hanuman do after this entire ramayana story hanuman keeps rama and sita together in his heart and he is going to be engrossed in sita rama laya he is going to be engrossed in sita rama and in sita rama japa this is the greatest summary we get the greatest message we should also have sita and rama in our hearts just like hanuman and we should experience the rama ramatva and uh, sita matuhu anugraha within ourselves so with this the sundara kanda is over next we enter the yuddha kanda we will start tomorrow experience the yuddha kanda tomorrow in two days we will try to cover uh, all the yuddha kanda shlokas and then the palashruti is there all that we will cover in two or three days next we have three more classes i think monday tuesday wednesday in three classes we will be able to cover this uh, entire sankshepa ramayana purely by rama kripas what we have seen is only a surface overview there are so many things so, so many commentaries to be referred and so many things to be told in this limited uh, uh time whatever best rama by rama prerna whatever best that came to my mind 
and purely by rama kripa we have told and all this has to be taken please take whatever is good and uh, let us have rama and sita in our minds and finish today's class swasti prajabhya paripalayantam nyayena margena mahimahisa um, go brahmanebhyas uh, ashubhamastu nityam loka samasta sukhino bhavantu loka samasta sukhino bhavantu <coughs> very nicely people have asked some questions as i told you i will definitely answer all these uh, questions on the last day on uh, i think we are ending on 29th on 29th i will answer these questions sarve bhya namaskaraha ram ram ram